Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tina. It's a beautiful day to be creating with you. I'm really excited because I get to do a fun layout today um, with my kids doing what they do best. I am going to be highlighting one of the sketches in our Make It From Your Heart Volume 6 sketchbook. Now, I love sketchbook scrapping um, and card making. I've been doing it for a really long time. This one is um, the latest and greatest. And um, this is kind of an introduction for it because my crafty group is going to be using this for our creative art challenges and more all year. I am going to be using the pattern 13 uh, one for this. And all the measurements and everything are in the book, but I'll go ahead and put it into the details so that you guys have it. But let me show you some of the artwork that they have here. Look at this. These are just fabulous layouts. And um, you can see that they make sure, and they do this on every, um, <clears throat> on every sketch they have, as they're turning it and they're showing it in different ways. So you can see the stripes go here, but then the stripes go here and they come here. And I, I love it because it's already giving us great ideas. I'm going to be working with the Home for Christmas scrapbook workshop. I always pick up the scrapbook workshop. And right now I'm bouncing around between the Home for Christmas, <laughs> the Silver Bells, as well as I'm getting ready to do my first one with Evergreen. Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of good stuff. All right, I have my sketchbook just right off to my left so I can refer to it. And <clears throat> right now I'm just going to share a couple of things. I am de-stashing my wood, so I have a bunch of my wood in this case. I'm hoping to pull some of that in. I also have our Silver Bells, um, I'm turn it this way, Silver Bells scrapbooking. Anytime I can get titles with thin cuts, I'm going to grab them because I like to stack um, my thin cuts for dimension and it just does it for me. I grabbed some of these lovely UV coated embellishments in case I want to add some of those. I have my title, all right, which, funny story, maybe I'll have a chance to share it. I have that um, title that I'm thinking about using out, cut out, and then I have some blings and things from my stash, and what I like to do is move my stuff along, so I know both of these are pretty much matching over here. I have my silver bells, but these are kind of matching the between the evergreen and um, and this, so I'm just kind of moving that stuff back and forth as I set up my layouts. Okay, so here's my note. It says, if the onesie fits, because this is in fact going to be my kids in onesies at Christmas. But here's what I love. If we take a look at this, I love my kids. You can tell they've already done something where they're just so proud of themselves because they're cracking up here in this picture. Okay, we can see that, yeah, check them out. <laughs> so they're just, they were just funny and hamming it up and having a good time. So let's go ahead and put this together. I've done some pre-work to already change this layout. I'm going to be doing a two-page layout. And I have a lot of pieces here. Now, I use a selfie photo printer. And one of the things about the selfie uh, right away you will know is that the selfie does not print true 4 by 6 photos. It's something that I've gotten used to. I'm just showing you some of the die cuts that I'm gonna put up on my shelf in front of me that I have pulled to use. Um, it does not do true four by six photos. So you have to kind of get used to that and, um, you know, adapt. I have adapted uh, and it, it's good for me. So, um, but it is, it is worth mentioning as I kind of cut mine down slightly. All right, I have got two pieces of this jade. I really like bringing this jade into this. And I have two pieces of French vanilla. My French vanilla has been cut. Here we go. My French vanilla has been cut at 11 and a quarter by 11 and a half. And I have two of those that I'll be putting on and lining them up here at the center. Getting that in my Versamat. I'm looking for a quarter of an inch at the top and the bottom, and then I'll have a quarter of an inch on the side. I'll do the same with the other page. Okay. I've really been looking forward to putting uh, this particular layout together because it just has so many fun elements, but I, I really love the circle that comes into this layout. There's multiple circles. 
but I really love this circle and um, the title that wraps around it. And I loved the title I came up with this uh, with um, this particular layout with the um, if the onesie fits because it's kind of really my kids. All right, so this has a linear feel, and I can I know you guys are probably already noticing that I I have. <laughs> half circles instead of a whole circle, but you know, that's a real thing. All right, let's see. It says that I'm gonna start these one and three quarters up from the bottom. And what I've done is the measurements that they give for this one big piece, I have broken it down and created some additional pieces and added to it. And that is something that I like to do all the time. So we're gonna go one and three quarters and I'm going up from the bottom, not just up from, um, I'm going up from the, uh, the jade, one and three quarters. It looks like I have a little bit of overhang there, so I want to line it up on this side so I can cut it off at the center. There we go. Just trying to get that straight. I love my Versamat for helping me straighten things out because it's definitely not a strong suit. I always say God has a sense of humor. Okay, and then there's this teeny piece here. This is a quarter of an inch, and I may have added this. Um, I may have seen it and said, you know what? I want to do um, that extra. Okay. I still haven't gotten my new straight pins yet, but nobody tell. I, I just pulled that out with my teeth. Definitely, let's not tell anybody who would tell me not to do that, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some liquid adhesive on this piece here. All right, this was such a great um, time. During this time that we took these photos, you know, we were just happy to to be together as a family and, and share <clears throat> some fun. My kids will pose for me for some uh, photos, and they're great about it. <laughs> One of the things is they know I'm a scrapbooker. So because they know I'm a scrapbooker, they know that they can ham it up and that I am then going to have to later on scrapbook these photos. And they think it's funny. No one thinks it's funnier than my son Jacob. Okay, my son Jacob will pose in every way, shape, or form that he can and look all kinds of crazy and I think it's one of the reasons why I tend to use his pictures so often in my books is because he just has this personality that's just screaming. Okay, I want to just check and make sure. I have a little bit of a gap here. Put those pieces over there. I have this small little gap that's on the inside of this. And I don't want to have to cut the the inside here. I think I just possibly didn't turn it as much as it needed to to hit that inside point. Okay, here we go. Happens to the best of us, right? Which I am by no means. Okay. All right, I feel like that's okay. I'm a little off, but you know what? We'll make it work. Okay, pop it back in there. Let's go ahead and pop this together. Okay. Make sure we're good. Am I still in frame? Looks like I need to move up a little bit here. There we go. Sorry about that. All right. Right, I'm just going to put on these other pieces uh, that I had to match this side. So just the same pieces to, to do both sides. All right, one of the things I have done um, only for the circle portions, and because I did this special circle, um, the half circle that I've done, and I created a journaling uh, a line journaling circle to go inside one of the others. Um, I will make sure that I post this design space file available. Um, it will definitely be in the creating with you exclusively group. That's my customer group. And then I will get it here as well. Okay, so what I did was I, in the cut, I decided that 
I wanted to have some variety, so I created this half circle, and I really like it. I think it it's going to allow me to, to do a little more decorating, you know, with it, and it's going to allow me to have a little bit of fun. And then I grabbed, this was kind of close to it, but it's a little too bright, but I'm going to go with it. I went ahead and created, I would use a different color pen, but I created this circle um, to go inside the circles that has uh, journaling. I'm not sure where I'm going to let that end up. All right, there we go. And because I've come in just a little bit more with this, the circle is tighter on my layout, but they still fit. All right, I wanna hook these two together so I can work with them. And I'm using the black and the plaid just kind of like they are now. But in order to hook these together so I can work with them, I just wanna line them up and grab some washi tape. I often will um, just put things together with a piece of paper and some adhesive, depending on what I'm working with. But we're just going to go ahead and tape this together because I want to add a few details to this before I put it onto my paper so I can nicely trim a few things off. All right, I grabbed this here. Isn't that pretty? That's gonna look so good on here. All right, so I'm just gonna line this up and I wanna attach this to my circle. And we're gonna just kind of move this out of the way and then we'll trim that off as well. All right, and I'm gonna use that circle right there. Okay. wanted to make sure that it that it didn't end on um, one side perfectly at a scallop point and you know then kind of look like it was off centered but this one here it, it cuts a little on each side okay I won't be saving that isn't that pretty now I wasn't sure if I was gonna want to put these presents on here as well and I think think I'll go ahead and do that. Even though a lot of them are going to be covered up, you really could just put a tiny bit on the one side and a tiny bit on the other because, you know, I'm going to be sticking um, my picture. But I didn't want to have to worry about where I was putting anything with this, especially since I um, have been looking forward to doing this particular layout. And I have these wonderful supplies. But if you wanted to, you know, do a little paper save there, you could do that. You have so many supplies with this kit that it makes me feel like I can just do all kinds of beautiful layers and add so many details. I love the die cuts. That's one of my favorite things with the scrapbooking workshop. Might be my favorite. <laughs> all right, yeah, I love everything about it. I'm gonna use this line right here. Um, whoops. This line right here, that's at the top of that to kind of be my, my guide that goes around for this. And I think I like the position right there, but let's check my title because I wanna make sure my title letters are going to fit. You guessed it, it says, if the onesie fits. And I'm hoping that this is gonna fit around this because it is kind of big. My letters are, you know, a little on the big side. Now that I'm seeing that red next to that red, I'm like, oh, should I have cut them a little smaller? Let's just see. I think they're gonna lose a little something if I put them on the top. If I lean them to the, if I put them to the, to the top, like have them actually touching it. Okay. And my second option was to stamp, but let's just see if the, I think we might be okay. Yep, I think it's gonna be a just fit. I think it's gonna be okay. I think that we are gonna be good to go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just, I have two of my photos. I did the white border around them. And for these, I'm going to go ahead and mat them in some French vanilla. I wasn't sure which photos I wanted to do. I'm doing two. 
of the three by fours and I'm doing two of the six by four um, or four by six. And I feel like I'm gonna do both of them. I loved this particular pose. He cracked me up in this one, but I think I'd like to keep all the pictures with both of them. Um, as I mentioned, my selfie does not do true four by six photos. I am just kind of used to that now. And I, I just trim a little off when I do them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move this aside. And we'll mat these photos. And I often cut my mats down so that I am ready to go because I'm used to them. But on this, after I started cutting, I said, whoa, let me, let me hold off so that you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. All right, we'll put this one on here. Okay, so these are four, these, um, these are for my double mats. These are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And these, I believe, are like four and an eighth by six and an eighth. But what you'll see is they're just that extra little bit of hair right there, even when I double mat them when I do that. It is less than an eighth of an inch, but they are going to be just slightly off. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and shave them. And that's really, I'm so used to it that, you know, I don't really think much about it. It's the smallest amount. It's this. I'm so used to doing it that I just go ahead and I line it up without even thinking much about it. And I cut it off. And it just works out for me. All right. We'll go ahead and get these double matted. I, I'm really, I know I'm going to love how all of this is going to turn out. Oh, I think, all right, I'm going to swap this out because I want the black to go on top of this one here. So I am going to, I feel like I really like this particular, I like this one where they're laughing. So I'm going to put that one on the left. So I'm just changing it so that it's matted with the black and then this one will be matted with the red. I think I just love that they're laughing and having a good time with each other. That's what family memories are all about. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop off camera and I'm going to get my title all laid out around here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this down so that I have that all ready to go. I like the details of the half circle. It's just another option, but you could definitely do one whole circle, um, like the direction calls, and that would be beautiful. I need to just be mindful that when I center this, I'm centering it only on the French vanilla portion. There we go. Okay, and I will go ahead and lay that title out and I will be right back. Okay, so you can see here, I got the title all put on. It is on foam tape and it's a different color. After laying it all out, I really decided to bring in some of that jade. So I recut that title with my thin cuts using our jade cardstock. And then what I did to add a little bit more drawl and dimension to it is I took some of our pine ink and a brush and I just brushed the bottom of the letters kind of and then I noticed look at this do you see my n and I noticed my n was upside down so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to pull it off and flip that around really quickly we'll see if it's going to be forgiving or not all right so it just goes to show you, you never know what you're going to get right all right I try not to press stuff down too too much until you know I'm it's it's all on there and um but yeah certain letters and if you look at this i had quite a few that i could have done this on but there we go okay all's right in my world right okay so i love the picture here and i went ahead and i got out a few things that uh, i'm going to be adding to this i am currently really trying to de-stash and use up what i have so that's the whole purpose in the traveling that i that i had mentioned earlier how I'm just constantly moving my stuff. It's so that I'll use it. All right. That looks fabulous there. Now there is a banner sticker. 
on this right here and I am utterly tempted to add it right down here but I'm not going to but um, it is calling me so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a few more things all my pictures are down I have those two pictures down here and it showed me how to put all this together right in the sketchbook all right so easy peasy all right let's grab some of these wood pieces one of the things I've done that is helping me is, you know, I just have a bunch of the, this is the thicker wood and it's amazing quality because everything close to my heart does is, but it's a little thicker and I've had some hanging out for a while. So I grabbed this love and this would be really easy to create just using the exact same thin cuts, do the L, the V and the E and substitute a heart there. You could make this really easy and uh, just a couple of little hearts. So to me, these are kind of basic shape things. All right, I have a toffee shimmer brush and we are going to just paint our wood with this toffee shimmer brush. We have wood in this. Um, I like to do two coats and sometimes I think it takes a little bit to dry. So I wanna make sure that this has a few minutes to dry while we are, I'm looking for the grain of the wood. Okay. We'll squeeze a little more down. I should be using my craft mat so that wouldn't absorb into my paper. Don't like wasting. And we're just gonna paint this and because the wood is porous it's going to soak up our shimmer brush and it's going to look fabulous yeah you can um also markers you can use markers um with our new uh paperboard letters um i never mess with the black though sometimes the black is a little iffy when i try to add shimmer or something to it so i don't i i don't play with the black and the shimmer but um the wood i have done in color and um with our markers as well as our shimmer brushes and i uh, color the wood ones with my black shimmer brush all the time okay i think they look really good i'm going to go through and just add a little bit more here and then we'll set it aside and let it dry there we go that's gonna look so good all right so I'm just gonna grab my whole sheet and just put it aside. And we'll add those last and complete. Oh, let's go ahead and do our stamping. So this is from, as I mentioned, that Silver Bells, and I'm using this Holiday Memories right here. And one of the things I love about stacking my thin cuts is if I end up not liking the color that I stamp it in, I can always just stamp another layer since I'm gonna just attach them with glue. All right, I normally like to stamp, this is the first time I'm using this. I normally like to stamp my stamp off multiple times before I try to make my first contact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna do the other side. This doesn't always work, but it's gonna work with this one. This is kind of to prime my stamp. There we go, because I might need that one and I definitely noticed the little lip that our thin cuts leave. It, they just look so finished with that little lip. Okay, we'll stamp this and give a minute for, there we go. We'll give a minute for that to absorb and I can see if I'm gonna like it in that green or if I think, I'm digging through my drawer while we're doing this, or if I think I'm gonna add another one. I had two little bows sitting out and now I only have one little bow sitting out and I don't know what I did. I don't know. I guess I flung it, but okay, let's see what we think. This is going to be with the jade, and I think I'm going to like it. So we'll go, go ahead and keep that jade. And because this is such a big thin cut, as I layer these, I don't need to use the glue. I can just use my regular adhesive and stack these. Go ahead and get these all lined up. I wonder if I'm slightly off there. There we go.
perfect. And you know it's going to be perfect every time because you're lining it up. Okay, and now I can... Oh, that's funny that I ended up with both of them that way. I can move this over and my holiday memories can go right here. So perfect. And it fits just so nicely between the two. It has the dimension that I want, but you know, I have so many layers here that it, it makes it a lot more forgiving. Okay, so from the candy apple little, I decided to, I grabbed the candy apple and I dumped them and I just keep them in these little cellophane bags and I, with my labeler, I just marked them all. There are so many, there's so many, there are so many pieces in these. It's, it's a little bit crazy, but I'm going to go for this little tag first. And I like the little tag and I think I'm going to tuck it right there. I save. I don't often um, have those saves. All right. And I just have a little bit of glue on the back and I should have looked. I want like to add just a tiny piece of pine. Just to do that heart. There we go. Right out of our kit, it matches what's across, so that's gonna be super cute. And then I'm gonna take the heart, and I'm gonna use the heart um, on the on the opposite page. I think, great. Right. I have two wood hearts that are gonna be coming on here as well. So, I think these are gonna look super cute right there. Great. And there was this little bow. Here we go. This is why I always pick things like this up. Now, this is where I was putting this other bow that I have lost, but I might end up only using the one. Just see where I want to put that bow. I don't want this to look formal. I want this to look very casual, very cutesy, very homey. Okay, I'm going to do these um, with just regular um, liquid adhesive on these. No foam tape. Those of you who've been with me for a while are probably wondering who I am. Because I said no foam tape. There we go. I like that little bow just kind of off to the side there. Perfect. We'll go ahead and give this one a cut. And I'll see if this little bow that I pulled out of my stash is going to work. And we're going to add our wood. I'll add my journal. Look at that. That's going to be really cute. I didn't want it to be black through there, but I also want the red to be the part that stands out. There we go. I think that needs foam tape. Go ahead and put that on some foam tape. Just to elevate it a little. And then I had this cute bow, but now I'm thinking I might just go with the dot there instead because I ended up using that other bow. It is so great to just have your stuff and be able to move it, you know, and then, you know, you're using the same stuff and you're familiar with it. You're going to remember it. Here's one of those die cuts from the scrapbook workshop. I had to pause so I could put it down straight here. I have this little date stamp and I think I'm going to, or dovetail, and I think I'm going to put that right there. It's going to be perfect to ride right underneath of my picture. And it looks so cute with the, and I have the little red bows here, so I have the little red bow there, and that's nice. Okay, here is another um, one that I pulled out in case I marked these, and I'm not going to use that. I know I showed that earlier. And I do want to keep a minimalistic, kind of look to this. I, I don't want this to be crazy over the top. I'm grabbing my black and white dots. Now I originally had carried over, I think I'm gonna go with the pine. Originally carrying over all my bling. I have new bling. I have all the bling. <laughs> I, I love all the bling. So I always have all the bling. We're gonna go ahead and put a medium, I believe right here. And the jade. Bring a little bit more of that jade in. We're going to swap that out for the large. And so many of you got these UV um, shapes. 
I'm going to be throwing them at everything. Absolutely everything. I want to see where I want to put my love because I was thinking maybe my love here, but now I think I'm putting it up there. So I'm just going to lay this out really quickly and grab that. I like that the love is, yep, that's, that's going to be my winner. And I have these little hearts that I was originally going to put here at the bottom. But it's almost like I kind of would like tiny little hearts there, there, and there. So let's see if I'm going to be lucky enough to find two more of these smaller hearts that I can do with some. That's what happens. I color one and then I decide to go another way. But you know what? I'm going to use them all in the end. Okay. I think those are close enough. Just gonna, I'm just gonna look just to see if I have, um, I'm, I don't, a, a bubbly, a more bubbly one, just in case. Okay, we're gonna go with. I'm going to try to do three different hearts. Um, since I don't have three that match, I figure I'll try to do three different. All right. All right, I think we're going to go this way. Mm, say that will do it. All right, let's grab that toffee shimmer brush again. And then while these are drying... What I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the other wood on. We'll lay this very carefully on the top of this just so I can paint these very quickly. Okay, there we go. So I'm always covered. And I do like two coats and it's better if they sit for, you know, just a minute in between. I'm lightly blowing by the way. <laughs> All right, I think that'll do it. And we'll just let those dry for a second while we put our other wood on. Isn't it always great that we can just kind of, you know, we go with one thing, but then we can kind of change it up and find what really works for us. I love glue dots to hold this wood on. Um, I really, I think the glue dots, these are just the regular glue dots. Just this, not the micro. Okay. And I'm not going to put this on top. I'm going to let this wood dry um, when we're all done. I'm just folding back any of the, um, the actual glue dot so you don't see it when I put this down. All right, let's give a look-see. There we go. And we are going to pop this right here. So the L is going to hang off just a tiny bit and the E will hang off. I love it already. <laughs> All right. Another glue dot. And I love that it's bringing in this wood grain that we have. Okay, these really do need a little more drying time. So if you decide to work with them really quickly like this, I just suggest you, one, wipe off your hands. And two, just let the layout sit out for a little bit. There we go. This is really turning into a great... I can see my spacing was a little off, but guess what? I'm, I'm human. It happens, right? Okay, let's... I really feel like this is so good. I, I'm just... I'm really happy with it. Let's decide what kind of bling. I'm going to add a little bit more jade to this, I think. I love the... I love the assortment. See, I thought this was a new pack. Look at that. And I, I took off my top pack. Here we go. Let's go with some jade. I have these little hearts. And I'm just going to add one right there. And then I think we'll bring in, I don't think I need any more red. Well, I think we'll bring in a little bit of the pine. Let's see what I have. I'm going to put two on each side here. We're going to go with the medium pine. One on each side there. 
That's fabulous. I, uh, right up here, I feel like it needs a little bit of something. I see a small jade heart. That one's going to go great. I'm also going to use a small pine. There we go. And then let's use the large jade star right on the little tag thing there. going to move these in a little bit. There we go. Closer to this side over here. Oh, I think that's fabulous. And this one is another one done for the book, so to speak. Okay, so I'll do my journaling later. I have a little bit of journaling that I'm going to put right here. I often like to do my journaling later because it contains a lot of personal stuff. And, you know, sometimes um, I feel like I need to kind of take a moment to do the journaling after the layout is done as opposed to doing it before. It all depends on the one that I'm working on. I really hope you like this layout as much as I do. I give for this sketch, I give um, just, this is just such a wonderful sketch that's been provided for us from close to my heart and I'm really looking forward to crafting with all of these great scrapbooking and card sketches for the next year with um, my crafty gang and sharing that here with all of you so I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, if you have please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or you just want to say hi don't forget to leave me a comment doing those things really help me out here in the YouTube community and I am just so grateful that you guys decide to do that. I hope that you guys are ready to make fun, happy, just laugh out loud memories um, this holiday season. I wish that for all of you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.